Hey guys, uh, that was Hunter. Guess what? He is now officially the co-host of Boy Podcast. Is that right, Hunter? Yeah. And uh, this episode's actually very special because you get to watch us do something now. Uh, on YouTube, or we are live on YouTube, but as of right now when you listen to this, we are not live. Basically, if you are subscribed to my channel, uh, 1TCTV1, you can be able to see this. And also, uh, we're going to be talking some uh, great news. Is that right, Hunter? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're wearing the exact same outfit. No reason why. We just got off work. Wait, wait can we show this since we're not... I don't, I don't think I can show Yeah, I don't, I'm not sponsored yet. No, no sponsorship. Sorry, we can't tell you where... We're we, poor. We can't tell you where we work. Wait, actually, we can. Wait, no, we can't. Never mind. Sorry. But yeah, currently we have no people live on it with watching us because we're not really that popular. Yeah. But um, we but what's cool about this is when we're done on live, the video is gonna be uploaded to YouTube. You know what? I'm gonna clean that camera. Um. My uh, my panda hat because you guys don't know I'm a panda lover. That's pretty awkward in the film. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So into uh, we're gonna take uh, we're gonna start the show, um, so yeah, here we go. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so I've got some interesting news. We're gonna be talking about uh, uh Star Wars: Last Jedi. Yep. Because uh, I just saw it last night. You've seen it already. But by the way, we're gonna have a. It's gonna be spoilers. Yes, major spoilers. Uh, because we like to spoil things. We did it for it when it came out. Me and my dad had the it episode. Don't just close the video. Like if, like if you don't want to hear spoilers, just skim. skim. Yeah, if you're watching this on live on YouTube, just skip. But we're not gonna talk about it right now. Yeah. We have some interesting news. Recently, I don't know if you heard about this. <sighs> Disney purchased Fox. Really. And so, and you know how X Men and Fantastic Four are Marvel, we might be getting some good X Men and Fantastic Four movies. What do you think about that? What do you expect from this? Uh, oh, and by the way, if you're watching the video, you probably want to seeing us look up. It's because we have a TV playing us. So, if we ever get any questions, probably not because we're not that popular. We can see them and we can answer them. So that's probably why you're seeing us look. So back to Fox being purchased by Disney. How do you feel about that? Um, I, I guess good. I mean, Disney's doing great with everything they've been making. Yeah. Um, we're going to get Infinity War pretty soon. And I feel like it'd be a great idea for Disney to, like, have a secret X-Men character in there. Because they did with they did with Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver. What they might do is, um... Have, like, I really hope Hugh Jackman just comes back as a cameo. I feel like they either will do a cameo or, like, an Easter egg right at the end. Yeah. Because that'd be a great like idea that. for them. And then have, like, a Johnny Storm come in and make the four in the sky, like, we're coming. It pretty much probably will happen. Yeah. And, uh, what do you expect from, uh, like, what do you expect from Disney purchasing Fox? Like, wait, what kind like, what do you think is going to be better about the Fantastic Four movies that we haven't seen? Like, because they're kind of bad. Um... I, knowing Disney, they'll probably go into their story a little more, like, mm-hmm. of how they were created. They're going to make another origin. Um, th- there will be another origin. They'll try to make as much money as they can off of it, like they've done with everything else. We're not sponsored. We're just drinking. I have to cover the label. You have to do that, too, if you drink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't see mine. Mine's behind a beaver. Co- covering the logo. See by Captain America. So, um... Are you ready? Like, what do you do? You expect the men to make a good movie? Because uh, Fox was supposed to be making a uh, Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum as Gambit. Did you hear about that? Um, and I feel like now that Disney owns them, we're going to get a much better movie. Yeah, a lot of people are like, uh, and I think right as Star Wars got bought, everybody freaked out and was like, "Oh, we're going to get sing-alongs." Yeah, but. I um I think a lot of people forgot that Disney's made some pretty you know not so much for kids movies like have you seen the pan in the background? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was uh oh like Pirates of the Caribbean like I haven't seen a new one. They've made all of those, so mm-hmm. Disney 
does their own like live action movies. So now that they've done Star Wars, pretty much anything that's sold to Disney is a guarantee like it's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All so right, it'll probably be good. All right, we're gonna be shifting over to our next news. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this. I don't know if I told you this already, hmm. but uh, a news article came out stating uh, Ryan Reynolds is gonna have a new movie. May 10th, 2019. I want you to guess what the movie is. I bet you you won't guess. It's based off an anime. Oh, what is it? Um, I know Ryan Reynolds has a movie coming up. He's playing as Deadpool. We know that. It's. I, I know it's a weird one, but I don't remember it's what it's... It's going to fail. It's a live-action Pokemon movie That's starring, right. starring Ryan Reynolds as Detective Pikachu, who speaks fluent English. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Okay, I saw the trailer today. Obviously, we're not going to watch it now because you won't be able to see it, so there's no point. But, um, it, it's it's bad. It's bad. It's CGI everywhere. Who's making this? I have no idea. It didn't show. It's all in Japanese. Yeah, that's not good. And Ryan Reynolds, it's going to fail. Yeah, it'll probably be bad. It's, it's going to be really bad. And... <clears throat> And it's it, I feel bad for Ryan Reynolds because being a great actor, being Deadpool, and being in a X Men Wolverine Origins as that one person that was not Deadpool, uh, he's been in so many other movies. This is gonna ruin his career. Mm. And he's like he, he in the in the interview he said he wants to be Pikachu. And I don't, his and Pikachu's voice is not high. It's hey, I'm Detective Pikachu. I'm here to investigate. What do you like? What do you think about a Pikachu coming up to you and going? I'm, I'm here to investigate your mom's murder. Um, <laughs> what do you think about that? Um, I know a lot of people have been making movies from like games and stuff. Mm-hmm. Assassin's we, Creed. we got Assassin's Creed. We got Star Wars. Even Battlefront. Yeah. We have a bunch of. We have that. We have a Mario movie. <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah. It's garbage. And then now this Pokemon thing. It is. Most game movies don't end up good because people try to redirect the story. Like Assassin's Creed, it wasn't good because they started using people who we they they weren't even in. They should have used Ezio. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I liked Ezio. Like his I, story uh, was cool. My favorite character was Connor. Honestly, Connor was good. I think a lot of people or a lot of directors maybe maybe they wanted to go a different direction because if mm-hmm. you know gamers who have already played the whole story, they don't need to watch the movie, but. At least knowing, you know, based on my friend and myself, like, I would go watch it if it had the exact same story. I'm going to go watch it. So um, we can do a... As PewDiePie says it, movie review. I watched a PewDiePie video earlier. Uh, he does it out. He has a new segment because he has meme review now. And he goes... Meme review. <laughs> meme review. And he did movie movie review about The Last Jedi, which we'll be getting into after the first break. We're going to do a non-spoiler review for a couple minutes. And then for the final, we're going to have some interesting things. I have a lot of things written down for what we're doing today. Um, but yeah. So, Detective Pikachu. What do you think it's going to... It, fail or... No. It'll, it'll, it's not going to be good. I feel like they're going to spend so much money on this. I, and they're going to get $1,000 back. <laughs> I think... I mean, the main fans are going to be these like little like pubescent people. I think it's mainly going to be... I think whoever made it probably does not even know much about it and mm-hmm. just wants to make some merchandise and just wants to make a quick movie. It's yeah. not going to be great. All right. So, yeah or nay on that? No, it's not going to be good. Mm. I'll still... I, I'm going to watch it. I watched your... Sharknado. I watched... Tar- I watched all the Sharknados. Yeah, so, I'll still watch it. I'll probably hate it. But, yeah. All right. So, Hunter, the reason why I have you on the show again, you officially be on the show twice. Congratulations. Let's hope you get to the Five Timers Club, even though you are my new co-host. We're going to promote you. Cover up the label. Guys, don't... Don't Don't look! Look away! This is awkward. (laughs) We're watching on the screen over here. There. It's just a red can. Made it worse. And, oh no. Oh. I got a gray can. Ah, I got a light. That could be anything. It could be any red drink. Alright. So. 
we're going to be talking about uh, what you what you told me recently about your career. You you want to be a writer. This is basically turning into an interview now. <laughs> you want to become a writer. And fun fact, I want to become a director. If you didn't know that about my channel, I've made skits. Uh, I've talked about this. I want to become a director when I grow up. Right. And I, I, I wanted to ask you a question. How you feel... You, were in, you write dark things. Yeah. How do you feel about writing a dark Star Wars like fan film? For me. That is actually a great idea. Because I was... When, after I saw The Last Jedi... Uh, I thought about it, and I go, wait, Hunter wants to be a, wants to be a writer. I want to be a director. Let's get some of our friends to be actors. Get a camera guy, and we and I have you write like a dark Star Wars film. We get like lightsabers, get some cloaks, and there we go. That would actually be really fun. And because, set in the modern day, of course. Um, I know that a lot of people have made like lightsaber videos. Mm -hmm. Like, but what's different? What I want to do is I want to have it set in the modern day. Like how they have it, Galaxy Far, Far Away, and like Jakku and Tatooine. What we have it here. What would be Earth. cool about it is if you set it to um, just regular everyday people who don't have the Force, compared to somebody who's a Jedi or and like what's cool like how they get naturally get the Force over there. We discover like oh wait, there's somebody here that has the Force, and they like they feel it, and they just you know. Um. If you want to go into a dark w way of doing it, um... We were probably thinking more of the Sith way. Probably. It would probably be a Sith story. Um, and what would be cool, I think, and I've never actually thought about that, but a Sith against just regular everyday people, they stand no chance. Mm-hmm. And I feel like what we were thinking about is that a Sith Lord would fly from his galaxy to ours. Yeah. Because it says in the galaxy far, far away... Why not have it where he comes here? He's like, I'm going to take over another world. And that he does. Yeah, a world. And we'll, we'll make up our own character. It's a Star Wars fan film, so it won't be real. Yeah, we'll, be... We'll, we'll find a way to make a scroll, you know, or have our own little thing. I've seen some cool ones with, like, laser effect. It's like, <laughs> like Thor Ragnarok, you know how the opening was? Yeah. It was like that. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I was thinking, like, Let's, I want to do this. And I would direct it. And um... you would write. Yeah, it would it would be interesting to see like, you know, because we've seen humans against all odds. We've seen humans fight ver humans versus zombies or humans versus robots. I don't think we've ever really seen human like, versus because if force. you think about it, even though there's real people, real actors who are human, obviously in Star Wars, technically the planets they're from, they're not from Earth. None mm -hmm. of them, not even you know Luke. Um, so yeah, that would be really cool to see. Yeah. All right. So, do you, would you like to work on that? Yeah, I will. I'll. We have plenty of time. I'm going on vacation next week. I don't know if we're gonna have a podcast out there. You won't be there because yeah. I'm going to Red River, New Mexico. I'm going to Florida. So I see my we're gonna have dad. a break. Uh, I'm gonna have a podcast, of course. It's my podcast. Uh, probably get uh, have like a a Christmas podcast. I don't yeah. know. This was originally supposed to be the Christmas podcast, but I'm like, nah. I was gonna have a Christmas tree in the background, but I don't want to move that. We, the Christmas tree is right here. You can't see it. You can see it. You see it? Look how beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <clears throat> it's beautiful. All right. So the next thing we're gonna get into is uh, I want to have a debate with you. It's Star Wars related. Okay. All right. So, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no. We're getting into Jar Jar Binks time, guys. Jar Jar Binks. Is he a Sith Lord? Have you seen those theories? Yes. I've watched all of them and I believe them. He has a jump that a Jedi can do. He used the Jedi mind trick on, uh, what's her name? Padme? He, he's evil! <laughs> I don't think... I think if he showed up as an enemy... That'd be he, awesome! He would... He would die instantly. No, he wouldn't. He would be the victor. Jar Jar Binks, the best character. Me, Jar Jar Binks. I'm the voice of Jar Jar Binks, by the way. I think. I'm I think if they did make him a Sith, he would show up for like maybe a five seconds for like irony as like, a cameo. Like that should be. He's like, it. hi, Annie. <laughs> like, yeah, I, that would be so bad. What, <laughs> what would you feel if Jar Jar Binks came back in the ninth episode as a Force ghost? 
<laughs> That's our new movie, guys. It's called the uh, Sith. It's called the uh, Darth Binks. It's gonna be the story of Jar Jar Binks coming to Earth and We're killing all the humans. Ever make that. We're gonna make that film. It's no. gonna be amazing. And we're going to send it to George Lucas and J.J. Abrams and all of them and say, make this a real movie. And they're going to go, okay. No. That's... You can see how long the list is, right? That's an awful idea. I feel like it would be a great idea to me. But I'm kidding. We don't know. I, I believe it, to be honest. I think he, he's a Sith Lord. Mm-hmm. Based on the evidence I've seen off the uh, terrible trilogies. I thought the trilogy was actually really Okay, good. the worst one was either Tech Clones or The Phantom Menace, Okay. The only thing that was good like, about Phantom Menace was Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth, Phantom Menace is so slow, and you already know all the gist of the Jedi Temple at that point if you already watched 4, 5, and 6. Mm-hmm. So, if you've already watched 4, 5, and 6, number one is really boring until the Darth Vader, or Darth Maul scene. And then, that's like the beginning. And then, uh... And then I, the, the only trilogy movie that I actually liked was 3, when they made three Darth Vader. Three was really good. Three, that was like my last one of my favorites. I, I know people hate on, um... What's his name? Uh, Hayden Hayden Christensen, the guy who plays Anakin. Yeah, because all he does is complain. He, you know, he wasn't the worst, but it, it could have been a better choice. But either way, he played the part, and it still fit. And uh, in uh, in an interview with George Lucas, the Star Wars storyline is based off of Anakin's life. Have you noticed that? Yeah. The trilogy started off as a kid, and then when he got a little older, into the Darth Vader, and then when he passed away, it passed on to Kylo Ren. Yeah, but with the with him being his grandchild. Yeah, I've noticed that because um, Anakin's pretty much the birth of Star Wars. Not, not Star Wars. Though. He's the he's the main problem because even though there's other Sith before him, he ends up becoming you know the worst because you know simply because they wanted to train him even though they weren't supposed to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good topic. Good talk. Good talk. Next thing we're going to get into. Alright. Speaking of Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. Who is the better bad guy? Kylo Ren or Darth Vader? To me, I'm going to say my answer first. Okay? Okay. This is actually a very hard decision, actually. Uh, right. Mine was actually down to, actually, Kylo Ren. I-, I like Darth Vader as a character. He's a really cool character. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites, actually. Behind Bobo Fett. But why Kylo Ren is because... One, you can see his face. Two, he isn't almost dead. True. Three, he, you know, he did disobey uh, Luke and how um, Anakin disobeyed Obi-Wan. But his story, we won't get into that part yet. That's in the spoiler part of the section. But, you know, we'll get to that. I just think he's a cooler character. The mask is cool. The voice is cool. So what do you think? Darth Vader or Kylo Ren? I think... And the lightsaber's cool, okay? Okay, that's sick. It's a cracked cyber crystal, okay, in there, and it's cool. I think that the, um... I think Kylo Ren is more, uh... I think he... I think he is more threatening. I think he yes. is... Oh, wow. Oh, getting a software update. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. I don't know why that like alerted me right there. I think Darth Vader is cooler and more respectable. Like, mm-hmm. like if I was ever in a room with Darth Vader, I would be on my best behavior. Cause I don't like, know. I'm sorry, sir. But Kylo Ren, Orcs. I think he is more. Uh, I think he's he's more. He has more rage. He's more evil because Darth Vader at the end ended up becoming you know, good, more or less. He, and Kylo Ren, I don't see him becoming good. I I, I was. Oh, I can't talk about it yet. <laughs> when we get to there, we'll talk about it. In the spoiler part, which I'm not going to say. We're not going to talk about it yet. Um, Kylo Ren, there is some moments where he, you know, it's possible he, he could be good. It's like The Last Jedi. He thought he was going to turn good with Han Solo. Uh, I know, but then... <laughs> I don't... I think he's too far gone. I, I, I feel like he's done. Um, I don't think he's the last enemy, though. Oh, no. I think Snoke's coming back. Oh. I think it was just a hot... Oh. <laughs> I want to talk about it, um, but we're gonna save it. All right, we'll save that. But we're gonna um, save it. Um, your drink was on my comic book, you jerk. I think one of the um, what's the, what's the next topic? I think after Star Wars Nine, mm-hmm. 
I think we're gonna. They're gonna probably. They're making. Do, they're making another trilogy after nine. Yeah, they're probably. I'm guessing they're gonna. Basically, be based off of a, a character in the movie. That so we saw. they'll probably go 10, 11, 12? 10, 11, 12. and then we're gonna end it. And then. Because uh, they're gonna make more uh, Star Wars films, like shorts, like Solo and uh, Rogue One. I hear Boba Fett's supposed to get his own movie. I really hope so. I will play as Boba Fett. I will be Boba Fett. You have to learn any lines because he doesn't talk. He talks a couple. He times. goes. What if he doesn't survive? Pretty much. That's his only his lines. Okay, fun fact. But I I read, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Boba Fett. I'm surprised I don't even have a pop of him yet. But I do have a Darth Vader one somewhere. But his entire script, like his lines, can fit on an index card. One side, not two sides. One side. That's how many lines he had in the movie. Um, I think a lot of people underestimated Kylo Ren in the first one because mm-hmm. yeah. He was beaten by Ray, but I think that's because he underestimated Ray. Yeah, he, he thought Ray was just some you know smuggler rebel scum who's trying to use a lightsaber, but she actually has she, a force. She beat him up, dude. But I think I that, just watched. I watched. Uh, I'm sorry. I watched the for- Force Awakens before I went to work today because I wanted to see. Like, hold on, let me watch this again because I'm gonna go see the Last Jedi again pretty soon. Mm-hmm. I had to go see it again. Yeah, it's one of those movies that you, you have to like. Un- like, you have to watch the Force Awakens and then go see the movie again. I, if anything, I'm probably gonna go because I have. We can go together. You want to? Yeah. The, all right, but yeah, yeah I would go watch all of the movies again before I'll, you watch them you all in order. Last watch Jedi. all all of them all in order. Like we're gonna do that one day. We're gonna film each other watching uh, all s- seven, seven and then eight, I guess. we're gonna vlog ourselves going to see eight. Yeah, it's, even though we've already seen it, but it's such a good film. And forget Rogue One because I hated that movie to be honest. I like Rogue One only because it's like you know it's a, a passion story of how they all died. But yeah, but I hate how they that, died. I mean, who cares? Now that they're dead, I, I'm I'm over it. I'm just ready to see what happens next. I can't wait to see the. I, I'm actually excited to see the solo film because that's where we learn about the life debt with Chewbacca. I need to see what I want to see in ten, eleven, and twelve is more of Rey. Like I really hope that she... I don't think they're gonna show Rey as much. I think. What they're going to do is show the new Jedi coming soon. Well, which we'll get into when we get to the spoiler review. As long as there's some new Jedis and you know, there's some cool one. enemies. Um, Jar Jar Binks. And also, I remember in the in the beginning, the first three, um, there was a lot more enemies like at the same oh, time. Oh yeah, there like, was Count Dooku, Darth Maul, uh, General, Jango Fett. General Grievous. General Grievous. Which I think they kind of undersell him because he died really fast during Obi Wan's battle. And so did so did Darth Maul. Like, he died literally in five minutes. Yeah. Like who else was there? Oh, I think there was a different Darth in there. Darth, Palpatine. Darth Maul. Darth uh, Count Dooku. Um. Hold on, we gotta think about this. Oh, Jango Fett. Yeah, I already said him. Jango Fett. He was cool. Yeah. I hated his guns though. Just boom boom, <laughs> boom boom. Pum pum. That's yeah. how you notice that that sound. They go pum pum. Yeah, the way he died too kind of sucks. Mace Windu decapitated him. I didn't like Mace Windu though. He's cool. Mace Windu is cool. I hope he. I think he's Snoke. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't think. Yeah, people he's keep dead. saying he's a. There's a theory. I think he's dead. He he's dead. <laughs> he fell off a giant building. And you're a Jedi. You're gonna die. I want Kit Fisto to come back. Kit Fisto is cool. I can't remember who that is. Oh my gosh, you should know who Kit Fisto is. I know like almost every Star Wars character, but I have no idea who that is. What does he look like? Get your phone. All right. We're gonna look up Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto is one of my favorite Jedi, and he died like a little kid. Okay, I'm not saying like that. He died like a little stupid face. K I T Fisto. Oh yeah, they, yeah, like the octopus dude. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Like, that's what the other. He guy. has his own comic series, and you only like see him once. And like he like, there's a part where in the I think it's the tech of clones. He uses the force and some droids, and he does a little smile like yeah, that. Yeah, that. yeah, he just. That's a smile, <laughs> he's like, yeah. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> he's, he's, he's this is what he does. He has a lightsaber in his hand. And he just goes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's something I also wish they brought back. I know the the the, the stormtroopers and the, you know all the troopers are cool. I really liked the droid army thing in uh, the first one, 
and the third one. I thought they were really, really cool, and they were short-lived. Mm-hmm. I, I thought the little lines they gave them, like the uh-oh, was kind of funny, but I, I didn't think it was needed. Uh-oh. Um, but like the big battle droids with like the fist gun. I yeah, that was... those are cool. And those like little rolly ones with a force field around them. Yeah, like the. A... I, think, then... I think they're called droidy cars. I don't know if that's what they're called. Um, but I liked all those little the machines they had. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right, let's see what we're gonna talk about next. Um, here we go. From based off all eight films, who do you think is the most powerful, overpowered character in the? All eight films. Mm. To me, it's uh, J- J- Jar Jar Binks. No. He is the most... He is God? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I have to think. Yeah, like, I, I made this thing. I'm, I wrote this... Our topic, it's two pages. Um, but what we're going to talk about... We're also going to be flipping back to Marvel pretty soon. Talk about something else. After a little bit of Star Wars. And after that, we're going to take a little break. Of course, you're going to see us. If you're on live, you're going to see us talk and stuff. Um, yeah. And then after that, we're going to get into That's Trash. A new segment. And then after that, we'll be calling, we'll be calling Trent's mom a new segment I call. We'll be calling my mom. <laughs> and we're going to ask her a question, and then she's going to answer. So, yeah. All right. But, uh, we're going to get into this. Who is the over most overpowered character in all these films? Um, I'm, God, let me think. Um... All eight? All eight. Like, it, it could be, like, uh, like Mace Windu. He was in the first three. You can say that. If... Here, how about this? How about... I'll make it easy. The first three trilogies, trilogies that we have, the crappy ones, pick one character from there. Then the next three, uh, four, five, and six, pick somebody from there. And then uh, from the next two, pick somebody from there. We're each going to pick your three, and then uh, we're going to see who's better. Okay. I already have mine. I already picked mine. All right, from the first three, it's probably probably Yoda. Yoda, yeah. Okay. And then, um, from the, I'm gonna go ahead and give an obvious answer for four, five, and six. Darth Vader. Okay. Because I don't think, I. I, I guess I'll get into why after I pick my character. Yeah, it's a word. Um, and then, I guess seven and eight, I'm gonna say Luke. Luke. Okay. Which I can't get into because we're not at the spoiler part. Okay, for mine, I pick for the first three. I pick Ben Kenobi. Uh, okay. I I like the character. I hope we get a short film of him, like a film of him. Next character, obviously, is I'm gonna go with my homeboy Boba Fett, even though he does die in the worst way possible. But there's a there's a comic out there. I read it where he legit crawls out. Yeah, um, he he legit just and he kills it. He kills the Starlight Pit. One of the things I remembered actually was in Attack of the Clones. Django has this little rope gun that he shoots out. It's a grappling hook, and mm-hmm. he wraps it around Obi Wan's leg and like pulls him. And it's a whole it's a whole fight scene. But if you go back to that, I mean, Django and Bobo have the almost the exact they are. same it's his suit. uniform. I'm pretty sure it is his suit. Yeah, he just, um, it just, like, I, like, it, like, rusted out. So, he tried to, like, you know, you see him falling down the pit or whatever, but he possibly could have used the grappling hook and got away. Uh, yeah, there, in the comic, he legit has a knife, and he just, just climbed out. And I think he's super cool. And then for the two films that already came out, I picked Ray Because... She's bad A, man. Dude, I think in the character, the, the actress, nice. I think she's hot. I hope she can be on the podcast. Um, <laughs> That'd be awkward. You know, what do you think about that? So I give, I say Yoda because mm-hmm. I think, um, I remember in Star Wars 3, like they end up all figuring out that Palpatine is the, the, the Sith Lord. And, he, uh, that was a voice crack. Sorry, guys. Um, Ew! Yoda, Yoda fights Sidious. Dude, that was an awesome fight scene, to be honest. But the only reason that Yoda didn't win is because he fell, like, down to the bottom of that room or whatever, like, if you guys remember that. It's like a courtroom full of levitating chairs, I guess. I don't know. I think they're, like, little, like, cart cars. But I think if they were just out in the middle of an open field, Yoda probably would have killed him. Oh, yeah. Because... 
Yeah, Yoda. Yoda only. Um, Yoda only wasn't able to kill him because he fell. I think if, if it came down to like a, a trapped in a room and only one person can live, it'd be Yoda. And then I picked Darth Vader because Darth Vader is the most ruthless in four, five, and six. Oh yeah, and he killed Sidious. So. He he kills his own men. And Yoda's dead, so. Shh, don't spoil. Okay. <laughs> um. And then uh, who you, you pick Luke for the last one? Oh, real quick. I don't think. Like, yeah, four, we're not gonna... four, five, and six. I don't think Luke was ever oh, strong Luke. enough to beat Darth Vader. Like, if Darth Vader had never turned, he probably would have killed Luke, and yeah. he probably would have got his arm repaired, and he would have won. Um, I think City. All Sidious did was do a showdown to see if Darth Vader's still, you know, worth it, or if Luke can be a better Sith. That's all it really was to him, but mm-hmm. it just didn't go his way. So, it was that, and then 7 and 8, I picked Luke, but I can't tell you why. We're going to get into that later. Alright, I picked Ben Kenobi. <coughs> oh, Man, nasty. Had a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Had a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I picked Ben, uh, Obi-Wan, Ben, Obi-Wan, Kenobi. Okay. Uh, reason why, uh, he's a cool character. Uh, he defeated Darth Maul by himself as a Padawan. True, he did. He did. After his Jedi Master died, a.k.a. Uh, Darth uh, Jen. What was his name? Who's he out there? Quite Gon Jen. Who's he out oh, there? Oh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, the most threatening man on the earth, died <laughs> to him in under three seconds. And then Ben just comes out of here just like, oh, good! and he kills him. <laughs> so I picked him. Uh, Boba Fett, I already told you why. He, uh, he you know... Is possible reason he is out of the Snarlack pit, just living a life. And Ray, which Force Waking, she took down Kylo Ren when Finn couldn't. Which she wasn't even a Padawan. She had learned no training. She had no training at all. And then for the last Jedi, we'll get into that later. Yeah, I love doing that to people. They're like, "Oh, who are you talking about?" Nope. Okay. Let's see. You want to go to uh, Marvel? Yeah. Sure. All right, so uh, if you're watching the live stream, you see a little character right next to Hunter. You see the little character right here. Captain America. He is going to be the main focus, hopefully, in the new Avengers movie. Uh, Avengers Infinity War. And I just said, like, let's talk about Captain America in the podcast. Like, you know, he's a dude with no powers, just like Batman. But he does have the super serum. So, here we go. So, Steve Rogers... Uh, back in uh, World War Two, I believe, was a scrawny little kid, and uh, he didn't really have much. Uh, so he went to the army, and they said, "No, you're too skinny." But then the guy's like, "Hey, you want to uh, be my uh, lab rat?" He goes, "Okay." And so <laughs> he went and did the su- super uh, super human. What is it called? Superhuman serum thing. I don't know. Which uh, made him super strong. And super buff, and yes, I have an action figure if you're watching the live stream. Made him to a American hero. Right. But but we're gonna talk we're gonna talk uh bad stuff about him. Alright. We're not making fun of we're not saying he's bad. I think he's personally a good a good superhero. But we're gonna talk about his uh his ethics here. One, he has a gun, he kills people. Unlike Batman, who just poof, knocks him out, Captain America kills people. What do you think about that? Like a superhero for people, like, hey, I want to be him, but he kills people. And a shield, really? That's your weapon of choice, dude. Pick a sword or a gu- or a gun that, like, you know, you know, just doesn't kill him. I think um, <clears throat> one of the stupid things about Captain America, and I've noticed it every movie, every movie. That he's in. If enough people are pointing guns at him, he really can't do much. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, my he shield. Can throw, he can throw the shield around. And uh, but then, but then, the, like, wait. If you throw the shield, the shield's not with you anymore. And it hits one person. Boom, boom, boom. But this guy over here with the gun can shoot you and kill him. <laughs> A lot of the time, he's saved by allies. Like at the last second, like, um, like Black Widow will show up in the Avengers or, or something Bucky. like that. But, like he's not. I don't think he's invincible. In fact, the shield doesn't actually do much for him. Mm-hmm. Other than, you know, he can throw it at people. Yeah. What else? Um. Uh, another thing is, uh, let's see. For, he, he was frozen in the ice. We Okay, in the first Avenger, 
uh, Captain America First Avenger, he legit sacrificed himself. I understand why he was saving Bomb, but, dude, you know what you could do, right? Hmm. Drop the bomb in Antarctica and just fly the plane. Um, Am I right? Instead of just dying? Yeah, he could have. But no, he's like, oh, I gotta sacrifice myself. Love you, Peggy. And Peggy's like, no! And he's like, nope, I, I, gotta, I gotta do it. I, I, gotta, I gotta do it. No, you really can't, dude. You, you could just drop it. No, I can't. I, I, uh, hold on, hold on. Right, you're watching my... <laughs> nope, I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. But <laughs> you're an idiot, Captain America. But it's... <laughs> um, Come on. Anything? Yeah, I think Captain America really isn't that great. and I don't He's not. understand why he wears a mask. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it's like part of the outfit, but he doesn't really need it. And half the time, he's never actually wearing it. I know. Look at that, like... He has some moments where he'll put it on, but other times he just doesn't. He doesn't. I, I don't see a need for it. Like, it, it, look at that. Like, it has a giant A for a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he's all right. He's just not my favorite. He's not. I do, I do like. I do like heroes that have flaws. Like, like that's why my favorite is Batman. Because you know, like Hulk. Hulk's really cool. And I've watched the Incredible Hulk movie, the old one, which I really liked. Wait, but, which one? Was um, it the 90s? No, it was not the old. The one with Lou Ferrigno? I don't remember his name, but it's like, uh, it's like from 2000, something oh. like that. Oh! <laughs> I liked it. It was, the, the, I mean, you know, it was alright, but it was still good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't like it at the same time, because he's not really able to be killed. Like, he's even said in Avengers... You think Hulk? Hulk or Captain America? Hulk. He even said in Avengers that he tried to kill himself. He put a gun in his mouth when the other guy spat it out. Yeah, so if you can't die, then you're... Okay, the reason why I know that... Real quick. The reason why I know all this stuff is because before every podcast, I watched the movie again. Like, I watched The Force Awakens today. Yesterday, I watched... Uh, when I got home, I watched The Avengers. Um, so I can, like, get everything back again. And so the reason why, like, I do that, like, uh, yeah, I have every member, like, line memorized. And that's how you do it. You have to be prepared. So continue what you're saying. Yeah, um, but, like, inv- invincible heroes aren't very, uh... Like Superman? It's not, it's not super interesting. That's actually why, um, I kind of distanced myself from Marvel, but now all the movies they've been making are good, so I'm probably going to catch up. Like, uh, I think I stopped at Civil War. So I really? have a lot of movies to catch up on. So have you watched Ant Man? Uh, no. Well, but, next podcast we're gonna be talking about Ant Man. <laughs> I um, you know, I like Avengers and their their slapstick comedy and like they're good. Yeah. Like when Stan Stan Lee will show up, it's it's interesting. I just never got into it because a lot of the heroes were practically invincible. Like you know. There was pretty much a gold ticket that no one was going to die. No Avenger really has died. Uh, Quicksilver did. Mm. Yeah, Quicksilver did. Um, I think. Who else died? Uh, Agent Coulson didn't really die because in Agents of Shield he's back. Yeah, yeah no one has really died. Yeah, because they all they all live through it. Because if any of them die, then people like and kids and stuff, I imagine, won't really like it anymore. But I kind of like unsafe shows, like, you know, shows where you can't guarantee that someone's going to live. I'm like up. Star Wars. Did you guys see that? I was hanging a pen off my beard. Did you see that? <laughs> um, or yeah. that or... Um, DC. The Walking Dead. Boo. I like The Walking Dead because, you know, you never know who's going to die in that. You see it? <laughs> if you're watching the live stream, I was hanging a pen off my beard. Oh. You know what, Hunter? I think it's time for a break. All right. Uh, after the break, either A, we're going to talk about the non-spoiler review of Last Jedi, or we're going to head into That's Trash. So we're going to take a little break. You guys can be seeing the behind the scenes. If you're watching the live stream or on YouTube, you get to see what the That's Trash is going to be. It's a comic book. Usually we play a game, but uh, we're on my phone, and there's no point of playing a game if you guys can't see it. But instead, we have some pictures... <laughs> And I'm going to be reading you the comic book like a little kid. 
So we're going to pause the podcast, but we're going to still talk to you guys because, you know, you guys get to watch the video. So we're going to pause it. Here we go. All right. All right. We're back, guys, from the, pod- from the podcast listeners. So people who are watching live stream and Hunter already know what That's Trash. We're going to be talking about That's Trash first, a new segment. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We're going to call my mom. Oh, yeah. We got to do that, too. You want to do that first, though? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. We're going to do that first. <laughs> oh, right. wait. All right. I use your phone. <laughs> All right. You got to use my phone. All right. All right, guys, so we're using Hunter's phone. We'll be calling my mom. I'm uh, not sure the number. <laughs> Here we go. All right. No. Oh, my gosh, I can't type. She has no idea I'm doing this, to be honest. All right. Are you going to tell her she's on the podcast? Yeah, I'm going to tell her. Okay. She might not answer. She might not. Come on, mom. You gotta answer. Maybe. Come on. Nope. She didn't answer. Okay. We'll call my dad. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Alright. Here we go. We're gonna call my dad now. Which he's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you hear his phone going off in there. I feel like he's looking at it and not going to answer. Yeah, he might not. He's not going to answer. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Rick. You're on the podcast with Trenton and Hunter. In a new segment oh. called uh, called Transparents. We called my mom earlier. She didn't pick up. So yeah, we got... She's not the right. She's like, she'll call me back in a minute. Oh, okay. You want me to wait a little bit? Yeah. Okay, we'll wait. We'll come back to you. We're racing going to ask you a question and then hang up. <laughs> well, wait, right. what? We're going to ask you a question and then we're going to hang up. It's for the segment. Ask me a question. Okay. What should we ask him? Uh, you didn't have a question? I didn't have a question prepared. Okay, who do you think would win in the game of hoops? You hear me? The game of basketball. Okay. Godzilla, King Kong, or Charles Barkley? Okay, because you actually know who he is. Hunter has no idea who he is. I know he's a basketball player. Basketball player. All right, Rick. Thank you for being on uh, Calling Trends Parents of the first edition of this. There will be many more of these. That is awesome. All right. Thank you for being a special guest on here. Go we're going to go. All right. Say something to the audience. Uh, something to the audience. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Later, man. Go. Bye. All right, guys, that was a segment calling, say, uh, calling Trent's parents. Thank you for joining me in that. All right, back to That's Trash. <laughs> All right, Hunter, today's That's Trash is Godzilla versus Barkley. You've already seen this. Look at the cover. It's a good cover. No. No, <laughs> it's not. All right, so. Um, <laughs> this is garbage. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so it starts off with them in a boat, right? You know, some Japanese people. They're like, oh no, uh, cargo and all that. There's, you know, you're seeing this too. Oh, I gotta show the pictures of the, po- the people. There's the pictures! And then, and then, Godzilla comes out. You know, Godzilla comes out. And then we get translated to, we get trans, uh, translated, right? Trans... Transition. We, transition to a beach in L.A. with some, uh... Yeah. <laughs> where a little kid... I'm spitting all over this, to be honest. Where we see a little kid going like, um... You want to play some hoops, Gramps? And Gramps like, I'm too old. Why are you asking me to play hoops? You know. Like some, uh... Look at that, dude. I'm not going to show these on the... But, Why? Like, dang. Just a drawing. <laughs> But yeah, he's checking see- a bikini. Okay, and then like, man, I'm gonna play some game, man. And like, Grandpa's like, go away, go see if some girls or guys who are into that. Here's a quarter. Go get me a coke. Then all of a sudden, Godzilla comes out of nowhere. If you like, you can see the pictures. Godzilla just comes out of nowhere in this. 
This is this is garbage. The guy's like, run! You know. There's just like attack planes coming in, you know. Police is here. He's on a skateboard. That's not going to do anything. In fact, he's going to get eaten. And then Godzilla's like, you know, to the airplane. That's great, Godzilla. Why? why? This is bad. And then all of a sudden, Charles Barkley comes out of nowhere and goes, hey, uh, what's that? They're like, it's Godzilla. He just attacked Japan. And that little kid comes up to him and goes, I need your help, man. And Charles Barkley's like, nah, dude. So instead of, like, helping out Godzilla, they go to a basketball court. That's what all people would do. Yeah. Uh, if a giant lizard man was eating everybody, like, let's go to the basketball court. Instead of... And then, I, I have not read this. <laughs> out of nowhere, he grows. <laughs> he just grows. Yeah, he, just, he, just, he just grows. <laughs> and now he's like, uh, yeah, Matt, I see what you mean. Now I feel like playing some hoops. He's wearing Nikes. He is. He's wearing legit Nikes. They drew that in. We're not sponsoring Nike. Sorry. No. But he's wearing Nikes. And, but then, like, so far there's been no loss of life, but now... No loss of... Hold on. But if we go back... He's like... If you go back, he killed someone. <laughs> the guy goes, so far no loss of life, but in, like... Three panels earlier, he just shot down a plane. Yeah, he did just destroy a plane. <laughs> um, so back at it. This is bad. It, it, this is bad. <laughs> so we're in here. God, look how tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. It, he throws oh. a basketball at Godzilla. So He's like, take that, dude. And Godzilla like, shoots laser at him. And like, oh God, this is awful. I mean, this is, yeah. And so they're playing basketball. Because, like, the U.S. government's like, let's give him a hoop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> let's, let's give him a hoop, right? There's, there's literally a giant basketball hoop. And so they're legit playing hoops. On a scale of 1 to 10 so far, what do you think of this? One being uh, Phantom Menace. <laughs> oh, it's... It might be worse than Pokemon. The <laughs> oh, Pokemon good. movie. So... <laughs> I'm not quite sure. They're playing. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, he's not actually even fighting. He's just playing basketball. They're, they're not even fighting. They're playing basketball. And this, he knocks him in the head. God. And then he melts the basketball. And he's like, you can't do that. And then he, he goes, you got some moves. This is Charles Barkley. You got some moves. Little work. You could uh, maybe be a tryout with the Bulls. What is this? Hold on, hold on, I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> One of those second-rate teams. You don't need to be toasting the op- the opposing. Okay. Toasting the opposing. Everybody needs to see this picture. Oh, I'm going to show them a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. And then he goes, oh my gosh. No. It ends off with them. Wait, you're like... <laughs> Look at they're look like at walking into the sunset. <laughs> and they're like there. they're walking to the sunset. Okay, get this. They go back. They go up to a canyon. They practice with the basketball hoop the U.S. government gave them. And he's like, later, man. Godzilla got bit. Look at him. What is this? Godzilla. <laughs> he's le- oh god. Eh. He legit is dunking. <laughs> and then he's on the airplane and he goes, "What will you do in the cities, Charles? Got to see a boy." Got Wait, is Godzilla book. talking? No, this is Charles. Oh. Got to see a boy about the bu- about a buck. And uh, he goes into town and he tells him, yeah, man, I just trained Godzilla to be a basketball player. And that's how it ends. What? I'm gonna read that. <laughs> so what'd you think? That was bad. It made no sense. And I don't ever want to read that again. You should get rid of that. No, this costs a, literally a dollar. You should still get rid of it. <laughs> that was bad. Oh my lord! So <laughs> that was that's that was that's trash. Next next time we're gonna be uh, talking about toys because uh, there. So there's a Marvel. I think we, no. I was talking about this with my previous guest, Walker Wilkinson. If you guys not checked out the episode, go check it out. We talked about our favorite Marvel superheroes that would fight, and I picked Wonder Man. He's actually pretty cool. He has the ability to take energy from people. Elect- the electricity, excuse me. But his action figure on Amazon is five dollars add on, which means you can't buy him unless you buy something else. 
So he's 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 pretty bad. <laughs> All right, Hunter. Let's get into a uh, Last Jedi non-spoiler review. How did you think of the movie? I thought it was pretty good. Wait, non-spoiler review? Non-spoiler. We're going to get to the spoiler one next. It's really good. And people hate on it. They I'm did. I'm not going to say why. I was at work, and my boss was telling me, he goes, I just didn't like it. I, I wish they had showed more fighting with Luke. That, and it, a bunch of people hated on it because it was a different director. Yeah. It's still good. It was still really well made. He, he was really good. Like, it wasn't, I like the comedy It wasn't had. like Rogue One. It was just it was very, very good. Sorry, I'm fixing the mic. You're it, fine. Rogue One is also, I think, a different director. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it felt different. Like even the music was different. It wasn't the same music score. But like, I like it. Star like Wars Eight was really, really good. Like I was so excited by it. Like, like every, like there are twists and turns, but um, they're really good. And then they make sense. That's yeah, what happened. I like the beginning part. People just thought it was like gonna be like an Empire Strike Back. Cause, no, because that's how the it was. It, gone. I, I thought it was set like that because it had Snoke looking like the Emperor. Yeah, but it, it's not. It's completely different from anything Star Wars ever has ever done. Oh my gosh! I'm moving the camera. That's awkward for the people watching the live stream version. So. That, that's it for the not spoiler. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We can't but, spoil anything. But 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 after uh, <laughs> we're gonna go into something new. Uh, we're gonna take a. Are we gonna Are we gonna go into the spoiler version? We're gonna go into that next. Um, but uh, you know, we're gonna take a little break. Even though we just got off one, we got rest our voices. Very good. Something to drink. You get to watch the back. You get to watch this awesome wall. Yep. We're gonna be leaving the room studio. Also, guys, um, if you ever want to count, I don't. I don't feel like I... how many times he yawns. Yeah, I was about to say I yawn a lot, even if I'm not. Tired. Yeah, I feel really offended because I feel like he's bored. No, like like uh, I'll be in the middle of just talking on a regular day. You know, I've had my coffee and I'm awake, but I'll just yawn. Like um. I just realized how many times I've yawned through this video. Like a voice so, crack. Yeah, let me know how many times I yawn. Also, count how many voice cracks he gets. Uh, like, not that many. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break from the podcast. You guys, the podcast, the live streamers, are gonna still be watching this. We're gonna be watching the background. We're gonna be leaving the studio for a little bit. Uh, no, so, no, we don't, we don't, no sponsors. But yeah, we're gonna take a little break. We'll be back pretty soon. But yeah. Okay. Three, two, w- break. Welcome back, guy. <laughs> a little break. Um. So yeah, it's time to talk. Spoils, 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 spoilers of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Last Jedi. So if you don't want to hear it, sign off now. Or just, or just skim. We're talking about this for the rest of the time. Yeah. So <laughs> spoilers. Here we go. How'd you think of the movie? Like, okay, my favorite part was when Poe Dameron was out in space, and he's like, "Journal Hawks." Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> and Journal <General laughs> Hawks is like talking, like, "Can you hear me?" And he, <laughs> I think he's toying with you. I think he's toying you, sir. I, I don't think he hear me. <laughs> but uh, I-, I thought that was actually kind of funny how Poe Dameron how he introduced him first, actually. Yeah, he almost seems like a new Han Solo. No, I don't see it. What? Like, I don't see it. I, I think Ray's the new Han Solo. Or Ray, Finn. Ray's the new Jedi. Finn. Mm-hmm. What do you think of Finn? What do you think he's going to be? I think Finn Star is going to... I think Finn is going to end up being a Jedi. Uh, I don't okay. think... I don't think he'll use the Force. I don't think he'll be able to use it. But I think it's, he's going to do a lot more lightsaber wielding. Yeah, that's true. Because he, he's he, done it... Did, did he, he have a fight? Yeah, he sucked. Remember, he got his back ruined. Yeah, I remember in Force Awakens. Yeah, he did. But didn't he have one in the new one? With uh, Phasma? Yeah, that was a cool scene. Yeah, so like he's been having a lot of those like close that quarter was fights. Like, dude. And remember when he fell on the elevator and she's like thought he killed him and he just comes and goes, "What's up?" And he's bang, <laughs> and tore off her helmet. Yeah, it broke her. Uh, you saw her eye, but that's all you saw. And I'm pretty sure. She's still alive, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think she's dead. No, I think she's alive because I think they're going to do a face reveal at some point um, of who who that is. But after that, I think in the next episode she'll be dead. Kind of like, kinda like, kinda like uh, 
Bobo. Like, um, you know, they showed him a couple times, and then he finally died. Yeah. yeah there was no face reveal, but uh, it'd be cool to see a face reveal. And then, uh, what happened next? Um, I liked how, uh, when, uh, Lei gave the lightsaber back to Luke. Luke, okay, live streamers, if you're watching this, my pin is the lightsaber. Ray's like, here you go. Luke's like, yeah, he literally, he, he just threw it. <laughs> He's like, no. Yeah, the other cool thing that they started doing was, um, Luke acts very different. Oh, like, yeah. Luke. And Star Wars four, five, and six was always the uh, he always had hope. Oh, it was always I'm not writing on it. He was, al- he was always <laughs> motivated. He's like, to oh, fight. I want to do this. But now in this new one, he's not at all. Ready, ready, shh, shh, ready. <laughs> but um, I thought what was also cool is it was, it was actually the time for the Jedi Order to end. I don't think Rey is the last Jedi. I think that Luke is the last Jedi. She didn't learn any kind of Jedi arts or mm. ever read those books. But she did steal them. If you um, notice, when uh, Finn grabbed the blanket for Rose, the books are right next to him. She took them out. That's why Yoda destroyed the tree, because he knew. I don't... I think either way... Oh, by the way, before we go anything, Yoda was back in the film, and he was a puppet, not CGI. What do you think about that? That was awesome. <laughs> uh, dude, I was like... <gasps> Yeah, he comes back as a force ghost. He's not alive. But, but um, the fact that he's back was like, yeah. And we already know for a fact that Luke is going to be back in episode 9 as a force ghost. Oh, by the way, Luke died. <laughs> yeah, he dies. But he doesn't. he's not killed by anyone. He, he just dies. The thing is, I was scared that Luke was going to die like Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan just, you know, gets like He's like, up. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, like, Obi-Wan is just like, Oh, whatever. I'm, like, like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Kill. I'm done. I'm done. Kill me. Um, but Luke but I thought more of a fight. Like I, that's what I thought was really cool. Cause Luke, yeah, I know. Did you people... see his Matrix move? His Matrix move? He just went. Yeah, a lot of people said they hated on it because they wanted to see Luke fight a little more. But Luke's fought since four, five, and six. He was done fighting. He even said that. So when he but did the... his final fight, it really was impactful. My favorite fight in the movie was with Ray. And Kylo Ren against the uh, Red Guards. They were cool. That they, was sick. And they, how how she grabbed his lightsaber and just went <laughs> and threw it back to him. The other it thing, was a little bit of a a civil war, Captain America feel. How Bucky and Captain America passed the shield, beat up Iron Man. You know, yeah. it was kind of like that. But it it, it kind of got me on the nerve. Like, are they gonna date? <laughs> nah. Well, I I feel like they're gonna have a, a romance. What happened was. I think Kylo Ren realized that he felt guilty for killing his parents, and I think he didn't kill Leia. Well, yeah, he but he was going to. He he's um, like he's like should I do it? And he's like no. But then these two Tie Fighters went. <laughs> yeah, and then he just accepted. <laughs> and then Leia. Like, okay, dead. what's cool about this is like you thought Leia was dead. Yeah, she forces herself back. She into the forces ship. herself back into the ship and saves her. Which made me immediately like her more because because then she's she finally used the force because we knew that she had the force. Four, five, and six. She was also always really boring to me. Like I liked you know her attitude was funny and like how she you know she didn't back down and could be brave. But she, she didn't really, do anything. She wasn't really cool to me. She didn't really fight or anything. But and then like the new one, she's like older Leia is cooler. And but like, okay, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher, of course. Yeah, I have, like, how are they gonna get her involved in episode nine? Yeah, which that's what I th- kept thinking. Like, I honestly thought to die because like, I feel like how I thought when Force Awakens come out, I would go, they're gonna kill one of each in every three movies. They're gonna kill one of the main characters, which was Han, Leia, and Luke. Because Chewbacca, fun fact, Wookies live for a long time, and Chewbacca's age, she's basically twenty years old. Yeah, what I what I um. And, like, I thought, okay, Han died in the first one. Mm -hmm. I was going to say Leia died in this one because Carrie Fisher's already dead. Well, I remember Star Wars 3. They did this this big thing, and it was really, like, it was a really emotional episode. Like, everyone died almost. Oh, the uh, Order 66? Yeah, that that was, like, the cruelest point. I was like, whoa. I thought they were going to get dark in this next one. I thought Star Wars 8 was going to be where um, the First Order kind of won, and... I think what would have made it brutal is if either Kylo Ren or Snoke executed Luke in front of everyone, of all the rebels, because that would have been their last hope. 
I thought they were going to execute um, Leia in front of all the rebels. Either way, if they ended up, ended up la- uh, killing anybody, if they ended up executing right in, uh, executing one of the main members mm-hmm. in front of everyone, I think that would have crushed them. And then Star Wars Nine could be called the Last Hope instead of the New Hope, um, which I thought would be really cool. But instead, they took it in this other direction where they won for once, and I'm actually really excited because look at the time mark on there. Jeez, yeah, we've been talking not... for an hour. Well, the podcast is already for a little bit. We're into an hour. So last... Okay. We're, we're moving away from Star Wars. We're going to come back really soon. Last episode, Hunter was back on. Hunter was mm-hmm. on. We had an hour and a half conversation. I want to shoot for two hours. Really? Every every episode is going to be a 30-minute extra. But we're not going to do like seven-hour podcast now. I feel like the reason why I want to do this is because Star Wars. And I want to talk about so much. I want to talk about what's going to happen in 9. I want to talk about everything else. Um... I want to talk about, and then at the end we're going to talk more about the our dark Star Wars movie that we're going to make for about like twenty minutes, <laughs> which is uh, we got to figure out a name. We don't know a name yet. Yeah, we're going to get some characters. We're going to make up a character. We're going to get his lightsaber color. Either it's going to be red or pink. Not pink. Pink. Why is the camera moving? Hold on. There you look at you now. You. <laughs> Okay, so back uh, to Star Wars. What were you saying about Star Wars? Yeah, one of the things... Um, so now that there isn't this crushed rebellion, and they actually, you know, they one. destroyed some people. Like, they killed a lot. They killed a lot of First rebels. Order. Um, no, it was, back, it was back and forth. They killed a lot of rebels and a lot of First Order. I think... Uh, you mean the Empire? Yeah. yeah the, They're different. Yeah, the... They, um... I mean, they blew up that one big ship. I don't remember what it's called. Death Star? Uh, no, I'm talking about in the new ones. Oh, the new ones? Um, the, it was a big, big ship. It's with a T. No, it... It was some ship that was really important, and it killed a lot of them. But I'm think, saying tomorrow we're going to we're gonna go see Star Wars again. Um, What I think is going to happen next is, I think because Kylo Ren and Rey went their separate ways, I think Kylo Ren is going to try to invite her again. I think oh he's, yeah, and I I thought that he, Ray was gonna do it. He's probably going to say, like he's probably going to be emotional and probably say, "Come to my side, please." Like, and you're you're powerful. I think after she says no a hundred percent and puts her foot down, it's gonna make him hate her and be, resent her just like he hated Luke. And then he's gonna be no mercy on her, and he's gonna try to kill her as much or, as he can. Or Ray eventually gets him back to the light side. If that happens, I can't see who would be the new Sith. General Hux? No. I He's feel like there's bad. a theory actually out there that um, Snoke, when Snoke died... By the way, Snoke died. Yeah, he does. He he went to General Hux, because in that one scene, General Hux pulled a gun and about to kill Kylo Ren. Did you see that? Yeah, he almost He does. was about to do it, and then Kylo Ren woke up and he went. <laughs> that and, um, I, I, you know... I'm sure he could sense it with the force. So, like, th- that's a risk trying to shoot a Jedi. And my favorite part is uh, Hux is telling him, like, that's a bad idea. And Kylo Ren just pushes him. And the car goes, yes, sir. Wait. Oh, he, he my dad sent me a thing about Star Wars. We can't really look at it because we're live. Um. Oh, that was a big thing I liked in Star Wars 8. Uh, all the environments they chose were really cool because yeah. they were different. Like, they did the casino place, which wasn't very long, but... It, it was, was a little short. It was like, uh, what is it? What is it? Ca- the cantina. Because you hear the music again, you're like, yeah. Uh, uh, the porgs, which... Um, oh my gosh, the porgs were amazing! I love them on what one... <laughs> Um, they were amazing. Can you just talk about those really quick? Yeah, the, uh... The porgs, the little birds, in the trailer, you see Chewbacca roar. And then you see a little bird go, ah! <laughs> I'm like, yes! In like they invested, they um, they took over the entire Millennium Falcon. Did you see that part? They were like everywhere in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Um. The uh, also the I think the coolest part was the like the mining planet with the salt because um mm-hmm. uh crate the yeah the the white and the red looked really really cool because it was like a rebel colors versus um. Uh, the Sith and like the red like surrounds Luke. Did you and... notice in the like movie trailers they were, had white backgrounds with the red clothes on? Yeah, they did. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes for crate. So because it's the final stand. 
whenever like all the sand exploded or salt exploded, it was all him, red. It scared me because you thought it was blood. The first shot. I remember they had done the footsteps, and you could see uh, that it was salt. And uh, yeah, but, but then like he, forget. I forgot about it because he's standing and then, there, and then the first shot it just explodes. It was red, and he said it was blood. And I'm like, oh my gosh! <laughs> and then I knew there was some way that he got out of it. I thought he might have like made a force field around oh, him. Oh, you talking about Luke? Yeah, but I did. It was. It wasn't. It was a force hologram. But I didn't know that that um. I didn't know he could project himself planets away, which made me think... That's why I think Luke is the most powerful in 7 and 8, because um, as far as I know, Yoda never did that. No. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody's done force projection, because if that happened, Darth Vader would have killed everyone. Darth yeah. Vader would have projected even and Rey, stole the Death Star e- plans. Even Rey and uh, Kylo, Ren Kylo Ren did force projections they 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 could do it but it was for short times they would like look at each other and see each other and like they can like feel each other they touch yeah touch but chips <laughs> fingertips but, but uh luke going from planets away from this isolated yeah. place that nobody knows and being able to fight through it um was amazing oh yeah i thought ah, i don't want to see the movie i think we're gonna go see it tomorrow after work the other thing is um uh, he um. He didn't even try to kill Kylo Ren. No, but remember it's a force projection. And he's like, I'm just gonna dodge you. And I and what's funny is when you saw Luke for the first time, he was had gray hair, his beard was gray. But in his force projection, he looked a lot younger. His beard was brown, and I'm surprised that Kylo Ren didn't think about that. And you don't see his red footprints. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did notice that. Um, you didn't see him. And Kylo Ren was too focused on, I'm going to kill Luke. I noticed it after he had done all his, like, he did the Matrix move. My favorite part of that whole thing is when the lightsaber went straight through him. And he didn't and die. And he was like, uh, like, see you around, kid. And then he disappeared. That was the coolest. Um, that or when he did the, like, the brushed off his shoulder. Oh, yeah. And they shot all the laser at him. And he just went. <laughs> yeah, it did nothing. And then like, Kylo Ren's like, bring me down to him. And Huck's like, no, no. And he just, Poof! and the guy, the guy's like, yes, sir. <laughs> he immediately went through it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it was, it was so good because Luke, Luke, you know, it wasn't like a sad death. It wasn't. It, it was peaceful. It, it wasn't like. But, I thought it was a cool death. I was like, wow. Like, even though he, like, uh, I was scared, like, when he when he left the force projection and he was sitting on that rock, I thought, oh, wow, he gets to live. But, but then, then he it, fades away. If you like, notice, he was holding his side. Because if you notice, when Ray shot the blaster at the Kylo Ren projection, it hurt him. Yeah, it, it, he held his stomach, but I don't think it hurts as much. But, but when the Kylo Ren, like, not, when Kylo Ren, like, sliced Luke in half, I'm pretty sure it, it had, killed him. I'm pretty sure the way it works is... You know, he isn't sliced in half where he is, but that same internal pain is still happening. And so, also, he's put the lightsaber through him. Yeah, so what I think is, um, when he died, I wasn't like, oh, like, it was just, wow. That was, like, like, I was amazing. like, I was like, yeah. And he died looking at, uh, I don't know if the two sons, the, the two sons, that's where he started, is Tatooine he, looking he at died the two where sons. He started. Um, Looking at the same two sons. Honestly, I almost, really I almost cool. cried when uh, you see him go to Leia, and he gives back the dice from Han Solo's ship. Yeah, that was and cool. And he kisses her on the forehead, and he goes, "I gotta do this." Yeah. And then he sees C three PO, and he and he goes, "Master Luke," and he just goes, winks at him. Yeah. And I'm like, yes. The uh, one of the cool things was um, people were saying like, oh well. If he's a force projection, that's too overpowered. Even the the like the droids could see him. It's not like he's a ghost. He was there. Like he he was he there. Projected himself there. Yeah. Um, which I thought was really really cool. Um, my parents. Oh, and like I liked how when he if you ever played Battlefront, I think have you played Battlefront? Start. Yeah, yeah. Not the um, second one. The first one, not the first one. The new ones. The newer ones that just came out, you know, the one that was trash. Uh, the part you play is Luke Skywalker. When he have a wa- he walks out like if a hero would pick up and he pick it, he walks out. He walks out. He gets his lightsaber. He just he looks all cool and he just goes like, "Let's do this." And then looks when he when he went out to fight Kylo Ren, he did that kind of like swagger move. 
Mm-hmm. Made him look like, oh, yeah. He's ready to fight. He just, like, he goes... <laughs> he's, the other cool thing is slap. he didn't have to say anything. Like, him standing there and wearing the... Uh, also, if he if he was just wearing rebel clothes, they would have just killed him. But uh, they had to wait for his order because he was wearing the hood. And so that helped. It was like a symbolism. He knew who it was the minute he saw him. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is Kylo Ren also is powerful in the Force. He didn't even sense Luke at all. He didn't sense that he was there on the planet or even near them or in the base. He didn't sense... He never once said, oh, I sense something. He didn't know it until he saw him. He's like, shoot that man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Such a great film. Yeah. I, 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 I'm highly thinking that we're going to see it again tomorrow. The other work. cool thing was... Do you the... want to see it tomorrow? tomorrow? After work? After like 7? We off at 7? Um, Maybe. Yeah, I might... Um, I'm asking my, my, my dad for money. <laughs> one of the, one of the things. Oh, it's been out for a while. It's fine. One of the things that I think I need to rewatch it is I need to kind of like I've always understood the logic and mm-hmm. you know the old ones. I've understood the power of the force, but I never knew there was more. Because uh, I remember, I always remember Yoda. Every time he was in a fight, he could do things that no one else could. And he never explained them. Like, like he, jumping around? Or, like, he had, like, absorbed the lightning ball. Like that lightning and threw it back? And threw it back, yeah. Like, they never explained that. I think... He was like, whoa. I think Yoda also probably used dark parts of the Force, but he was balanced. I think he was, like, the only true uh, Force Master. Because there's a difference between Jedi Master and Force Master. No. And Lightsaber Master. Yeah, which would mean... And Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no, but... Like, ha- I- guys, make it trendy. Hashtag Jar Jar back, please. Like, Mace Windu, like, he was a, uh... He, he master. was nothing. He rarely used the Force, actually. Um, in the, uh... At least... Kit Fisto was a Force master. <laughs> he died immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he was a smile master. He had the great... He had the best smile in all Star Wars films. He's just like... Yeah. Um... I think Leia will probably die, um... I, uh, I've heard that they're writing out of the script. I think the way they'll probably do it is a fade away. She'll probably die like Luke does. She's like, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go see Han. <laughs> I think part of it will have to be CG. Like, like, like how they did for uh, they'll probably, Tarkin. They'll probably use old like old parts that she was that she played and somehow fit it in. Like how they did it for Tarkin? Yeah. For Which I still thought Tarkin was cool in Rogue One. I hated it up. I I mean Darth Vader looked cool though. The CG was barely recognizable except for when they showed leia that was super noticeable oh god i was like um no and my favorite part okay back to uh last jedi when uh r2 saw luke again he goes i can't do it and did you notice what r2 played the message princess leia wrote to obi-wan saying i need your help and he goes that's a cloak that's a cold blow dude yes yeah, was, was cool. i was like yes um, and the Hayes connection back to R2 was so nice. Yeah, he got to kind of, like, see everybody from, the, like, the end, like, one more time. And Chewie. Chewie's like, what? He goes, Chewie. Yeah, um. Yeah. Luke is really cool. I like, I like how he finally finished it off. We're gonna get him back, 100%. He's gonna be back in the next one as a Force ghost. We already know, for Lei. Not for Lei, for Rey. Because yeah. she needs to finish her training. I think Finn will either become, like, some kind of commander. Because who's going to take Leia's place? I think it's going to be Poe be Dameron. Mm, I think Poe will be, get offered it. But I don't think he'll take it. Because all he cares about I think is he, being, in the, being a pilot. I think he's going to go, I think Finn should have it. Yeah, he probably will. He, he's like, uh, if anybody's a soldier, it's him. And they're going to point to Finn. Because Finn's the, actually only the one who's a real soldier. I like how the, I like Town Force Waking. Uh, Han asked him, what were you as a, when you were here? He was sanitation. Because <laughs> he's basically a janitor. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, You know what I think was really cool? And I guarantee they're going to use it again in Star Wars. Uh, maybe 9. I don't know. They haven't named it name, name, name yet. The, do you remember the blood marks on Finn's helmet? Yeah. At the beginning? The... I feel like that's going to happen again. I feel like it's going to happen, but for a different reason. From Poe Dameron? What do you mean? Like Poe's going to die and he's going to do it to him? He, maybe. Um, but, uh, but I remember the blood mask thing was like a 
big thing. He's like, like, I can't do this. There was this, like, it was this signature thing that, like, everybody, everybody freaked out when they saw that because if you think about it, there was never ever blood in Star Wars, and like that was yeah, there wasn't because you know the lightsaber cauterized you, so even if you got cut in half, you wouldn't bleed out everywhere. It was instantly really. I know that. Yeah, that's why they actually explain it. Uh, I used to read the series, like the books, but I lost interest. But yeah, it would—it was so hot, it was a laser, so it would just cauterize you. So that's why you never bled. But like, you know, when the first order came along, it showed they were like they were worse than the first empire. Yeah. So yeah. All right, are we done talking about Last Jedi? Mm. You think that's what we're talking about? I think. I think that's it. Yeah. We're gonna go see it again, hopefully, maybe tomorrow. Hopefully, yeah. We might make a video we might make a movie review. Why you... movie review. What are you doing? We might make a movie review on my channel. Hunter might be like I finally have a collab <laughs> Get some other people. Uh I wanna make a we're probably I'm probably gonna write a I'm also a writer. Moving on oh we we're not talking about Star Wars anymore. We're, well, we're going to talk about our f- fan film. But I'm also a writer for my skits. I, I've i shown I've shown you mm-hmm. my scared trailer. I've written I've written it. I didn't really make it because I, I needed more people in it. Uh, I've written that. Written that. I've written Stuff to Life. I showed you that. I think that's one of your favorites because I had John in it. <laughs> he was the dog. I was the chicken. Um, I wrote I, – I've made the five commercials I love. I wrote "Don't Worry," um, but I'm mainly into directing, and I really want to have somebody write. I want to see you how you write. Yeah, I, I really am excited to. I, I've never written script, which I could figure out how to do. It's not the hard. But I've written, um, but I know how to write. Like, uh, like I know how to create a storyboard and char- like characters that. Not just people care about, or I think will care about, but like I, I only write characters a certain way because I like them. Like they're personal to me. So if they die, it's because, you know, I had a reason. But it doesn't mean I necessarily want them to. It's and just uh, what I chose. And at the end of the year, you're going to go to college. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Europe for a, a week, week and a half. Uh, when I get back after that, I'll be getting uh, more money, and I'm buying me a camera. Like a good one, and uh, yeah, because I've been mostly my videos are mainly filmed on my phone. If anybody knew that, and yeah, I'm mean, gonna get me an actual video camera and make me a short film. Yeah, and then uh, you know the Star Wars thing is to be filmed, We're like to be even. Signed. It hasn't even had. We're gonna think of a title right now. Yeah, probably. And it's gonna be uh, Star Wars, a, a Star Wars story. I'm kidding. It's not... Well, we probably can't even say Star Wars, honestly. Like, yeah, we can. We're fine. A bunch. Of, have you seen all the fan films? They oh, say yeah, Star that's Wars. True. Star Wars. Like the people who make it like it. It gives them ideas. Yeah. And the uh, Force Awakens. The main purpose behind Ray. Ray was supposed to be a guy. But a short film on YouTube had a female lead, and they liked the idea of that. Um, Finn was actually not supposed to. You can be in it. Um, Finn was supposed to be Commander Cody, which if you guys don't know who that is, he's from Star Wars 3. Um, he got, oh, really? Yeah, because Commander Cody survives because uh, he was he was one of the original copies of the clone troopers. So he has his... Um, so whenever Order 66 happened, he didn't follow Order 66. Mm-hmm. He actually abandoned his post and ended up having to kill a bunch of his people. And there's a whole uh, there's a whole like comic series where he got his series and it was him... Um. Uh, it was him trying to get out of the situation, like he had to kill a lot of his own men, um, because they were willing to kill him. So he he's one of the few people who has his own personality, and he was supposed to be Finn. I didn't know that. Yeah, but they decided not to do it. I like Finn more anyway. But Finn's a good character. Commander Cody's still cool. He's I thought right. he'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, he probably. I mean, it was it was interesting, but. He never became a key character in this in the first three. Yeah, true. Um, but our we're gonna be writing a darker one. That's what you're into. You're into writing darker. Yeah. Uh, I also have an idea for my YouTube channel for you. You're gonna be my. Uh, we're gonna be coming Smosh. 
No. Our channel is be called Not Smosh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something I, I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, <laughs> do um, it. Do it. Wait, wait, what? What were you talking about? We're on the same page. What are you talking about? Wait, okay, I was gonna talk about a YouTube thing. Your YouTube channel? Yeah. Um. So, I don't have a name yet. Haven't even you know signed in. But not Smosh. I'm going to start my own YouTube channel, and then we're gonna kind of merge. You know, I'll still ha- I'll still do videos on both, and both will be different things. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. So we'll have I'll have my channel, and then we'll have a merger channel. So a murder channel. Merger. We're like, gonna have a, we're guys, we're gonna merge. have a murder channel where we're gonna be murdering people. Yeah. Like a live stream of. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I was thinking of uh, my channel, like I how. How I was gonna do it is I was gonna go through a portal, and my channel originally in your dimension was gonna be your channel. You see what I'm saying? Like you were posted. Like I didn't have a channel, but you did, and you made the exact same thing as I did. But I don't uh, the Howard Duck way. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll think of something. Yeah, uh, and uh, we're gonna think of a name. I'm gonna be his uh, like moderator. Like I'm gonna be his. Uh, Shout out person like hey go subscribe to this guy. And I'll, I'll get, do the same. I'll be uh, out to social media because you don't do it much. Yeah, that's that's something I'll talk about. I have an Instagram. No, you don't. It's a picture I'm, of you and your ex girlfriend. Yes, it is. I've <laughs> never ever actually been on there, um, really at all. I've ever posted anything. But I I'm am, Ray. <laughs> I'm a stick. I'm probably gonna start. Um, yeah, I am probably going to start once I get my YouTube channel up and running. Um, you know, got to get them views, so... Got to get them views! I like that stuff. I like that. So, I'll probably, uh... Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably start using more social media. Probably Instagram. This is a, uh... If you guys are a fan of the show, uh... This mask is from Scared. I've only seen the trailer. Don't subscribe. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna actually not gonna make it to two hours. We're gonna end it a little short. Yeah, we're gonna go get dinner. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So am I. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm using uh, non-sponsored names. He uh, McDaniel. He had a farm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's all we can say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, this is the fir- this was the first like live show. I'm actually because uh, what's cool about me was I wanted to have my own like talk show. That's why I made my YouTube channel. I was gonna have guests on it, and me having this podcast. This is a little emotional side of this. My podcast originally started off just being a book title. I was gonna write the uh, it was called the Awesome. Well, I was gonna write about people. I was gonna write about being yourself, don't be something that you're not, because I'm a, I'm an anti-bullying guy. I I uh, started a club back in the old days called the uh, Anti-Bully, and uh, yeah, and it's called the Awesome. Just be yourself, be odd, because it's awesome. Get it? Awesome. Yeah. Say it. Say it fast. Awesome. Is that, what did you say? Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it started off being that, and then I just. I grew into the boy because I, I always say boy, like boy. And uh, it's called the boy podcast. And Hunter is a co-host. I got my co-host. Uh, you got the you got the director. You... And the camera. No, you're not. <laughs> the camera's on a tripod. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. But hopefully we'll actually, you know, we'll get a crew. Do a real, real deal camera. Yeah. And uh, I'll try to figure out how to make live off of that. Um... How the setup is, uh, we have the mic on a dinner tr- like dinner TV tray on a little like arm, shooting this way to like straight, and my laptop right in front of me, a tripod with my phone, and it's connected to an adapter where we can see ourselves. And that's how do you think about that? How do you think about this this whole set? Yeah, it's cool. Um, you like the table? Remember the table? Yeah, <laughs> it's becoming like the background. Um, we got this table from our work. Yeah, I, I... he let us have it. Oh, you know what? Could we say our work name? Because it's, like, all over. Like, 
the U.S. I don't think they would know where we are. No, no. No, they, some some weirdo would probably find us. Like, oh, I didn't know where they live. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we got that from our work. And, and uh, yeah. And hopefully, uh, eventually, uh, when I get older, I'm still gonna have the podcast. I I want to have this for many years. I was thinking about buying my own studio, like a storage space. Yeah. And turning that into a studio. Um, what do you think about that? I think it'd be cool. Yeah. And, uh, I, and, even, and maybe eventually this won't be called the Boy Podcast. It'll be called the Trent and Hunter Show. Because you're now the co-host. And I, the reason why it's called Boy is because... Or maybe we'll change it to The Boys Podcast. Well, well, well maybe. We'll, we'll think of a name. But, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, this is just a standby name, just like the Odds and Podcast. What I would think... Also, like I think something that would be cool is um whenever we do get more equipment and stuff like camera oh, yeah. stuff um make, like, get a, actually two uh, mics we make a <laughs> get, we're on one mic yeah we are <laughs> it's this right there but uh maybe doing like a youtube kit like showing you guys like you know like, i've already done that before my on my old channel like way back at the old house yeah, because, you know, it's... I'll be showing the studio. It's hard to get out there. I mean, even we're, it, we're uh, trying, uh, so... When I started off YouTube, I was in California visiting my grandparents, and I got bored. I was like, let's make a YouTube channel, and I just vlogged how I was on my phone, and maybe eventually I'll get a better camera, uh, actually make better content, uh, make better skits. Ga- I want to be... Originally, it was a talk show, game show, a game show, a talk show, gaming channel, and etc. If you look at my, if you ever, if you're an old fan, you saw the banner. It was that. It was in a little like stack TV, and it was written like text for like scripts. And yeah, and now I move on to this where I have a live show, I have a podcast. And I'll, I'll probably start with gaming, just so you guys know. Like it's what I probably will do. We're we're gonna play Slender Man, <laughs> like all the YouTubers did. But yeah, and uh. Originally, I had a for that's trash. We were gonna play uh, Captain America and the Avengers for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, hope you guys didn't hear that. We have an Im- <laughs> But yeah, and uh, maybe get some better equipment because we're legit in my room. If you're watching the po- live sh- live show, we're in my room. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And maybe eventually we get our own set. And, uh, guys, when Hunter makes his channel, go subscribe to him. He deserves it. He really does. He's a sad little child. Mm. Look at his face. Look at that face. <laughs> Gosh, are we going to be the new Danville? <laughs> Do you know who they are? I think so. The British people? We're gonna be the new Smosh guys. I'm. I call it Ian because I feel like you're. I know. I feel. I call it Anthony, man. I feel like I'm gonna leave the group soon. <laughs> oh, um, that sounds me. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're gonna end it here. Uh, thanks for listening to the Boy Podcast. Thank you for watching. It's gonna be up on YouTube in a minute. Actually, it's gonna take like an hour to upload because it's live and it's been for like an hour and a half. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're going to sign out. We're going to go get dinner. And, uh... Yeah, boy. So, let's end it. We got to make an ending. How are we going to end this? How are we going to end the show? We should do it like Ellen does and have a dance-off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Muscle reveal? Yeah. No. (laughs) I have no muscle. I think we should end it the old-fashioned way. Bye. See you later, guys. Just kidding. Uh, We're going to end it off with uh, a little word. I'm kidding. (laughs) I don't know what I was talking about. No, we're going to end it off with a bye right now. We're going to think of something. Because it's our show. Yeah. This is where you start off, Hunter. When you make your first video, you can talk about how you started off on uh, my my boy Triton's podcast. (laughs) I was like, you go. You go. You'd probably be like, I was a guest. On the, the boy podcast, and then I'm another co host. Yay! Alright, guys, that was my video. <laughs> I have like a 30 second video.
This is creepy. <laughs> you just staring at the camera. Why are you staring at the camera? Okay, guys, we're gonna leave. We're gonna get food. Thank you for joining the pod- podcast. I'm Trenton. I'm Hunter. And we're signing out in five, a four, a three, a two. Let's sign out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Later, guys. Bye. Good night. <laughs>